A piece published in the journal Translational Psychiatry claims that a certain blood test can not only identify depressed versus non-depressed individuals, but it may also predict response to cognitive behavioral therapy. If true, this would be a major advance because therapy is slow, expensive, and not everyone responds. If a blood test could identify non-responders, then those people could avoid an unhelpful treatment and move on right away to better options. However, when we look at the data, problems begin to appear almost immediately. First, only 32 patients started the study. Only 22 of 32 had final blood analysis at the 18-week point. Of those 22 patients, 9 responded and 13 did not. Depression strikes approximately 23 million people a year in the United States and Canada alone. It is statistically very unlikely that you can say anything at all meaningful about 23 million people from a sample of nine responders in 22. Also, and more importantly, patients were rejected only if they were currently receiving or were going to receive psychotherapy in the future. It is not stated whether individuals in the sample had psychotherapy in the past. And patients were not excluded if they were on antidepressants as long as the medication was started 11 or more days prior to the start of the study. So, were the participants in the study responding to the therapy in the study, to medication, or to the combination of therapy, medication, and prior therapy, which often has lasting effects? Despite what you may have heard in the popular press, we do not have a biomarker for major depressive disorder. Do not feel cheated if your doctor suggests that you save your money rather than getting exotic blood testing.